Thanks, everybody. And you can shift over to the first slide. <laughs> now, what we're going to be talking about is ethics. And, and again, every time I've done any lecturing in ethics, and as some of you might know, I lecture in legal ethics at the law school at UNSW, also in the law, um, business law in the business school. But um, I always have to talk about really what ethics is all about. And we're really talking here about the ethics of decision-making because that's what we do. We make decisions all the time, we make tens of thousands of decisions every day. And the issue is the first thing and the most important thing to do in being able to make ethical decision-making is to understand what it means. What is the concept of ethical decision-making? What do we mean by you know, ethics? And what do we mean by ethical decision-making? Next slide. Well, here you go. What do we might mean by ethics? What we mean by ethics is, is it between good and bad, right and wrong? What does it actually mean? Next one. This is a, an un interesting quote by Hobbes. You know, ethics about deciding between good and bad, right and wrong. Ethics falls within the school of moral philosophy. And moral philosophy is nothing else but the science of what is good and evil in the conversation and society of mankind. That's Hobbes speaking. Nothing is more difficult and therefore more precious than being able to decide. So really, but what Hobbes is saying is all of that is really important that all ethic decision making, there's nothing more important. Okay, move on, next one. But there is a problem with all of that because due, due to the fact that ethics comes from the school of moral philosophy, which goes really back to Aristotle, he was a virtual ethicist. He really wanted to say that you know, what we have to, when we want to find an ethical person, we look to see what that person does and who they are. So, you know, they have to be virtuous. And the problem with that is being virtuous or talking about good and bad, which is what Aristotle was saying. So you just have to be good. The problem with being good is that it really is too difficult. We live in a pluralist society. Next, next slide. You know, we live in a pluralist society and each of us tends to believe that we see the world objectively. This is Robin Alton Sternlight, who are two um, ethicists that speak in, in um, lit law schools around the world quite a bit. But we tend to believe that we're much more fair, much more unbiased, competent, deserving than average and be overconfident about our ability and prospects. This is really true of all of us. It's like you know, everybody thinks they're the best driver in the world. And, Obviously, we're not. And the thing is that we, in a pluralist society, it really becomes difficult. We live in one of the most pluralist um, multicultural societies on the face of the earth. And people come from different positions and different points of view. Mm -hmm.